And the Italy starting 11. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four. Oh, genuine chance. And there it is. The opening goal. The ideal way to start. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Bellingham. Phil Foden now. Foden. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Trippier and Bellingham and that a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again Retegi Raspadori Space on the flank. Di Lorenzo. Oh no, it's gone a begging. Well, they can't miss opportunities like that. What a chance to equalise. given him too much space targets available cross comes in and they've done it to square the game once again exhilarating well here it is again and what a perfect cross into the box this is just inviting someone to attack it which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end it's a really good goal Jude Bellingham the move looks promising a goal here surely would finish it Kane oh they've done it they forged ahead and it might be the goal that gives them victory Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And the referee blows the whistle and England will be moving on to the last four here at the Euros. Well, they were certainly pleased to hear the final whistle because that was a really tough match, which in the end they just about deserved to win. This is a good result for them, and they're going to the next round fancying their chances. And the shining light for his team, no two ways about that, Harry Kane. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable, and he inspires those around him.